I'm going to show you how to set up the assignment for this Google Docs scavenger hunt. The first thing you're going to want to do is make a copy of this document for yourself. In order to do that, you're going to go back to the website and click on the link right here, this scavenger hunt. It's going to prompt you to make a copy. This copy automatically saves in your Google Drive. You don't need to do anything else from this page. You can go ahead and close it. In your Google Classroom, go ahead and click on the plus sign and click Create Assignment. I'm going to call this Google Docs Scavenger Hunt. I think I want to add assignment numbers. This will help my classroom stay organized. For instructions, I'm going to tell the student what to do. Click Open, click Create, click Google Doc. I won't have a due date on this one. I want to attach the instruction document to the uh, from my Google Drive. So I'm going to click Google Drive. And because I just had that open, it's the first one there. So I'm going to click Copy of Google Docs Scavenger Hunt. And I'm going to click Add. I don't want students to actually edit this file. So they're just going to be able to view it and click Assign. My students. we'll see something like this. So the instructions say to click open. So if I click the open button, I can open up the document to view it. And I can read my directions. And now if I go back to classroom, and if I read the directions, direction number two says in the stream, click on the assignment and then click create button. So I'm going to go back to Google and click on the Create button, and I'm going to create a document. It attaches that document. This document is automatically shared with the teacher and the student. If I click on it, it will open. Students need to read the directions here and follow them to complete the items needed for the assignment. Once they finish, and in the instructions it tells them to close the Google Doc and then go to Classroom and turn it in. So I'm going to go back to Classroom and I'm going to say I finished and I'm going to turn it in. Once students turn in the document, they're no longer able to edit. So even if I go back here and if I try to edit, normally it wouldn't work they'd need to come back to Google Classroom and unsubmit in order to make it work. As the teacher, you can see that I now have one that is done. If I click on the assignment, I can see the assignment from my student. I can open it and I can edit and offer comments.